Well, hi, hello, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be sharing with you five simple content strategies to help you increase your reach, your engagement, and your followers on Instagram. Now, my name's Sophie Mahir, and I help artists to make a living from their art or creativity by building a stable, profitable art business doing what they love. So if you'd like more helpful tips and tricks for building your profitable art business, or perhaps you've not even got going yet and you'd like to know where to start, then this is the right place for you. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell below to get notified every single time I post a new video. Alrighty, so today we are diving in to how to create a solid content strategy for your artist's Instagram account. Now, this is going to depend on where you are on your on your journey, right? On your Instagram journey. Have you got no followers because you've not set up your account yet or you're waiting to find out what to do and you're just about to set up your account? Or maybe you've got that 100 followers or 1,000 followers or maybe two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 followers likely not watching this video if you've got 100,000 followers because I imagine you know exactly what to do at that point. So let's assume that you're at the lower end of the scale right now. Here are three things that I'd love for you to consider before you put together your content strategy. So the first thing is, have you got a clear art style, art brand, you know, that look and feel. So when you post something, your followers are going to instantly recognize that's one of your posts. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks right. I know it's those colors, that style, it's shot in that way. That's the look and feel of the account. And if you haven't, that's the first thing you want to remedy. The second thing that we want to consider before you can start posting regularly new content on Instagram is of course, do you understand and know who your audience are. Who's that ideal customer that you're really looking to attract with all your efforts over on your artist Instagram account? So I have a free resource for you. Woohoo! <laughs> you can jump over to my website and I'll give you the link below this video. And on my website, I've got a free, what we call an ideal customer avatar worksheet. It's about four pages long, full of in-depth questions for you to start profiling who that perfect person is for you. Now we know that when we think about audience, there's likely to be quite a few uh, different types of ideal person, but you can at least get started with one, okay? Who is the perfect person that you would like to attract, who would follow your Instagram and might perhaps go on to become a customer? So don't forget to go below this video, look for the link and grab that free resource. All right, number three things you need to consider, and that is how are you going to create content of value for that audience? So you see, you actually need to understand the audience before you can really put together, well, what is the content I'm going to share? You know, you might have the brand. So this is what I do as an artist. This is what my art brand is. This is my look and the feel. This is what I want to do. But there's no point doing that if you're just putting it out for the sake of putting it out. All right, we need to make sure that any content that you're posting is aimed at your ideal audience. All right, so that said, I guess it's time to turn around and start looking at that all important content. All righty, so here are the five areas of your content strategy that we're looking at today. First of which is what are your options on Instagram? Oh my goodness me, it's so exciting because we have so many options right now. And artists and creatives, we really should be uh, super excited to be putting this content together because it uses a lot of your creative skills, right? This is the perfect social media platform for you. So we have just basic single photos. And I'm gonna say that that's pretty much 80% of what I see down the feed. And whilst that's okay, it's a very quick um, look at for somebody who's wanting to be inspired or learn something or find out more about you or find out more about your work, there's a photo. Okay, great, that's one photo. I've looked at it next. What about a carousel, All right? That's several photos. Ideally, perhaps a, a series of photos that tells a story. Now, obviously Instagram would love it if we account owners 
brought people to stay on the account longer. So the longer somebody watches or sticks on your account, the more they're going to reward you. Single photo, quick, but a carousel, a little bit longer, right? Things to look through, text maybe on the images, something to read. Stories, now we know that stories are really hot right now um, and stories really engage the viewer. They're quick, they're easy, they last for 24 hours. Reels, that's the hot thing for 2021 when I'm filming this and that is like a movie trailer. This is an opportunity for you to show all sorts of areas of your creative business behind the scenes, process what you're working on, some top tips, some mistakes, some special offers, something funny, something entertaining, something educational, something inspiration. Perhaps if you don't mind going live on um, IGTV, for example, you can do a, an Instagram live and you can turn it into an IGTV or you can upload a video you've already made. We have all these incredible options, all right? Image options, video options. And the more variety you give your audience, I think the more uh, they're likely to engage with your account. Now, Reels, we know, um, can extend your organic reach. So that's really important to start learning about how to do that. So in order for you really to build that interest and engagement, you got to mix up. See, I want you to think about choosing um, a selection of those. You don't have to say, oh my goodness me, do I need to do some of each of those every week? Of course, that would be great, but let's be realistic. What are you actually going to have time to do? Should it be uh, a carousel, a story and a reel? So what are you going to prioritize? Where do you think your audience's interest is going to be? Are they video watchers? Do they like a carousel or do they just skim across the stories? Now, by the time you've gone through this ideal customer avatar worksheet, you're likely to have a better idea of who your customer is, where they hang out, where their interests are, what they're looking at on social media. It'll be much easier for you to make those decisions. So I would just make a percentage. So you might say, all right, OK, I'm going to choose carousels, uh, still photos and reels. And I'm going to do 50 percent of my week is going to be reels. 30 percent is going to be carousels and 20 percent is going to be still images. All right, done. That's your first section ticked. All right. So you want to make sure that whatever choice you make, you feel comfortable to manage that. OK, so we make that decision. Then number two. And that is your content themes. What are you going to be sharing on these reels or in these carousels or on these still photos? All right, here's 10 ideas. So you're going to have to be quick, quick, write them down. Here's 10 ideas for you. You can, of course, share your process. We see a lot of people doing time lapses of process. And I think your audience is likely to be really, really interested in that. What about your story? What's got you to where you are today? some inspiration, what inspires you as a creative, but also what do you think would inspire your audience? Education, are you a teacher or an art coach or you're doing some sort of art um, product or art service and actually you work in the kind of workshop or teaching sphere, in which case you need to be sharing, of course, top tips and educational things a bit like I'm doing for you guys, all right? Behind the scenes, what goes on in running your business? Do you work from home? Do you work from a studio? You know, do you work from a cafe? What's going on for you? People want to know about you. So show a sneak peek of where you do what you do. Show and tell. Here's a completed. Now, for those of you who do 2 and 3D work, here's a completed piece of work. Maybe you've written a book or maybe you've created a course. You can actually just show like this is what I've done. This is you know, this is what we've been working on the last couple of months. Humor. Everyone loves a laugh. And especially when we're filming this, we're all in lockdown around the world. Even pretty little Perth has actually got its lockdown finally. And you know what? Everybody could do with some humor. So get thinking, get creative. How can you create something a little bit funny to make your audience laugh? What about mistakes? Well, they'll probably be rolled in with the one before and that's likely to induce humor. Here's something I did. Oh my goodness me, I made the biggest mistake, all right? Shows that you're human. You're being real, you're being raw, and you're being authentic, which is exactly what you need to be doing. What about then, let's take it up a level. What about special offers? So once you get to a place where you say, okay, I've actually just 
um, put some new things in my online shop. And for this next weekend, I have a 15% off voucher. Here's a little picture of my voucher. This is what you need to do to get it. And then of course, interviews. Sometimes a lot of artists feel uncomfortable on video. And what happens if you get a second person and you can either do it online or even face to face where you're sitting chatting, it's really engaging content for your viewers. All right, number three, how often are you going to be posting this content? I hear you cry. All right, we know that when you're starting from the beginning, the more content, the, the more people you're going to reach, all right? So if you're just starting out posting once a week, it's not really gonna do anything. It'll linger around for maybe a day, maybe two days, and it's gonna disappear. So you've got to put a little bit of time, energy, and effort. I like to always um, tell the story of the aeroplane. So aeroplane goes down the runway with all the stuff on it. You load all the stuff on, all the effort goes into takeoff. But once it's airborne, all right, it just coasts. So I want you to think of your artist's Instagram account as an aeroplane. I know right now you might be thinking, what is an aeroplane? What is? What do we use those for again? But you're gonna put all your energy and effort in at the beginning to get it going. Once it's going, you won't need to put so much content out there, I promise you. Ideally right now, if you can post one or two times a day, that's gonna be the golden spot. That's where you're gonna start attracting more people looking at your content. So I know that some people put up at the beginning of the day, this is what they're gonna do, and then they put a time lapse of what they've done at the end of the day. Now, what if you don't do what you do every single day? Well, I've got something at the very end of the video, so stick around for that. That's gonna really help you with how to overcome that. So for example, you might put up a story in the beginning and you might keep adding to your story every day. And then you might say, okay, I'm gonna do uh, three reels a week, one IGTV, two carousels, one single image. Now I know we had another example a moment ago uh, where I said, I think we say 50% were reels. So it, it's completely up to you, but you might say, okay, one reel a week and I'll do two live videos because I quite like doing the videos and then I'm gonna do two carousels and everything else is gonna be images. But whatever the decision you make, you want to start writing it down. This is your strategy. My focus is gonna be, for example, reels or carousels. I'm gonna do 50% that. How many posts am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna do 14 posts a week. So how many of those, so seven of those in that first example are gonna be reels? That's a lot of reels, but maybe you get a bit realistic with what you're gonna post. But whatever you decide to do, you just write it down, that's your strategy. What the type of content is, you're gonna choose from the themes, you've got 10 different ideas there that you can kind of mix up in between, and then you commit to what you can. Ideally once a day, twice if you can. If you can't manage that, let's just get it maybe the five times, Monday to Friday, Think any less than that if you're starting out, it's gonna be a very slow build. All right, what's the most important thing here? Consistency, always. Hashtags, let's talk about those a little bit. They kind of sit on the edge of the content sphere, but they're still involved in your content because you're gonna write a description for each thing that you post. And ideally you want to make sure that description is not just one word or one short sentence, but actually describes a little bit or tells a little bit of the story behind what you're posting. And then underneath that, you want to use hashtags. Hashtags will mean you can show up on the explore button, right? When people are searching for content, you wanna show up, this is the way to do it. You can use up to 30 hashtags per post. I'm gonna suggest if you're just starting out, you wanna try that, All right? You'll see a lot of people who post very few hashtags, but they have probably bigger accounts. And if you're starting from the beginning, you want to give as many possible opportunities for people to find you, right? That's what it's about content going out there, and of course, um, hashtags with it. So it's gonna help you get found. Uh, what are hashtags? They group things together. So for example, myself, I'm a semi-abstract painter. So I use a lot of the hashtags around semi-abstract artist, semi-abstract artwork, um, because I know that anybody who's perhaps doesn't really wanna have abstract and maybe they don't like realistic, but they like something in between, they might be following that hashtag and looking for artwork that's going to fit, all right? I also do sea themed, so I'm going to use a lot of hashtags around sea and boat, boat and beach and different areas that I paint. So my suggestion here is you use some larger ones, 
not many because you won't really be found for the sort of million plus ones, some medium ones, which are maybe anything from 100,000, 500,000, something like that. And then the smaller ones kind of around the thousand upwards. And then of course, make sure that if you do have something really niche and really specific, you use those hashtags too. All right, last but not least, we have number five, and that is the way that you're gonna be saving the time. So number five is batch your content. So the last thing we want you doing is waking up in the morning and going, oh, where's my phone? I need to post something. Oh my goodness me, take a photo, that'll do. Up it goes on Instagram, Instagram done. No, 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 the whole point of this video is that you plan ahead. You know what your audience wants, you've made some decisions of what content you're gonna post, and therefore the logical thing to do is to plan ahead. So by batching, what I mean is spend an hour and do a photo shoot. Go around your studio, set it up, get materials out, sketchbooks out, equipment, go out for outside where your inspiration just gather lots and lots of photos. Wherever you go, take photos. Wherever you go, take videos if you've decided to do reels. So whenever I go out, I take photo, 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 photo. I usually make sure I take video foot and I take video footage portrait because I know that I'm going to likely want to do a reel and that way I've got some content. When you're working in your in your studio or your office space, depending on what you're doing, leave the uh, have a tripod and leave your phone running on time lapse. Time lapse what you're doing. Obviously, if you are doing two or three D work, this is particularly exciting for the audience. Get the time lapse. Put a little video burst on. It takes a few extra seconds just to record what you're doing. And at the end of the day, you can have a whole load of photos and videos that you can pull through and and use. So ideally you want to perhaps plan a month ahead, but if you can't manage that, then at least plan a week ahead. You can say, okay, I've got those reels. I can make those up. I've got all this content. I can make a carousel because look, I took all these pictures and maybe the journey of something I've been making. Oh, I took a little video there as well. I upload that onto IGTV or I'll do a quick live and then upload some other things. So remember that also one piece of content can do multiple different things. I'm gonna talk about that on another video, how to repurpose what you've got, because at the end of the time, you're limited on the old time you wanna spend doing this, right? So therefore, we want to make things super easy. So if you've made some videos, or you've taken lots of photos, or you've put up some content, I'm gonna share with you on another video ways of making that purpose, that repurposing, making that content go a little bit further. All right, so the key here, plan ahead. Shoot your photos, shoot your videos, then allocate a bit of time to maybe putting that together. And then if you really like, use a scheduler. So we use things like uh, Tailwind, I use for Instagram and actually for Pinterest, and also things like the Later app or the Plan app. Some things have a free to get started, but we really love Tailwind. And um, so I'll also leave a link below that you can go and have a look at that. And I think actually you can have $15 off if you go through my link. So just as a word of it is an affiliate link and I will also get rewarded for that. But we really, really love Tailwind. So we're really happy to recommend it. And it does schedule out, schedule out your stories, schedule out your posts. It will remind you that you're doing a carousel, um, but you can plan ahead, all right? And that is the game changer. Plan for the week get back in the studio. All right, I hope you've loved today's video where we've talked five different content strategies for your artist Instagram account. So what did we cover? We covered actually your content options. What are all your options on Instagram? What are some themes of actually what are you going to be sharing? How often are you gonna post? What hashtags are you going to post as well? And then how can you do it quickly by batching your content? I hope you've loved this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have. Leave me a thoughtful comment below and I will respond. And don't forget, ask your questions. If you've got Instagram questions, um, ask them in the comments below as we'd love to hear from you. All right, see you again on another video. Take care, bye-bye.